for inoculating you use up a method that is termed as streak culture means you do the streaking so when you have the culture plate with you you make a primary inoculum what do you do you make a primary inoculum and then you make these particular parallel lines okay then you rotate the plate again make parallel lines so what do you do you have a primary inoculum you have a secondary inoculum and then the third inoculum and last you have a tail like formation that is what is termed as streaking fine and in between that doing up the first inoculum mother inoculum and later on bringing these particular ones why we are doing so why we are having the tail and all because we want separate colonies okay separate colonies on the pure culture they come by this method only important is after putting up every inoculum you should heat the inoculating loop so that the same amount of bacteria should not be carrying off the next inoculum okay so means maximum then less then less then least okay this increases the chances of getting what the isolated colonies okay so this is the way to do the streaking and uh, intermittent heating i already told you why you do that so that the amount decrease as we go like this fine other than that uh, you have liquid cultures and in the liquid cultures what you do guys in the liquid cultures you have just have to put the sample if it is a blood you will put in a liquid culture if it is a fluid you will put in a liquid culture and how you know that something is growing by the turbidity turbidity you will able to know that something is growing in that particular culture media is it fine so first of all we have heard of streaking and later on we heard of what that is the liquid culture stuff that is by the turbidity you got to know that which particular which particular i can't tell but definitely you will able to know that something is growing in this particular liquid culture one this is the disadvantage of liquid culture media disadvantage is what that uh, you can't know that which colonies are coming what is the size what is the shape because only the turbidity you could able to gather up from that so that is what is the story of the liquid culture stuff then there is a name which comes up guys uh, termed as lawn or carpet culture the lawn and carpet culture is being done for what it is being done for ast testing i have already told you that you have a mha plate over that you take a cotton swab and all over that after putting that cotton swab into the pepton broth in which you have added up the culture uh, colonies you have added up and you make that solution uh, obviously for the ast and all you have some standards they are termed as mcfellan standards the so 0.5 mcfellan standards you take means the particular uh, number is there of the bacteria 0.5 mcfellan standards is the standardized uh, concentration for what for growing up the bacteria on the culture plate by the long one so you have 0.5 mcfellan turbidity of that you put that cotton swab into it and put over the culture plate like this so this particular thing is termed as what guys lawn culture or carpet culture and that is being used for what ast and what is ast antibiotic sensitivity testing what is ast antibiotic sensitivity testing is it fine and that is being done by which method guys kirby boyer or stokes method kirby boyer or stokes method and which one is uh, mostly used kirby boyer because it is uh, less costly whereas in the stokes one controls are used better is stokes but mostly what we use kirby boyer is it fine i will